boom and just like that we're back it's been a long time since i shot a vlog but you know what better late than never we're gonna start the new year off right for those of you who don't know the jewish new year started sundown yesterday and so i figure you know what what a better way to start the new year out than to shoot a vlog update you guys on what's been going on here on the homestead and share some exciting updates for the future and what we have planned so it is september 30th and it's 90 degrees outside this is crazy this is by far the hottest summer or the longest summer i'll say in kansas city that i've ever experienced um, i am looking forward to the season change um, we have tomorrow is going to be a hot day and then wednesday i think is going to be changing over and we're going to start having highs in the mid 60s and lows in the 40s 50s at night so i'm looking forward to the season change for many reasons one because i love the fall but two because let me show you this madness that's going on this look at my hill over here it's just a it's a weed hill look at the garden look at the garden This is the garden. Crazy. Look at that. Weeds everywhere. Just like last year. Obviously, I have a lot to learn. I really got to keep this soil covered. That's the biggest thing. I got to keep the landscape fabric. Let me just show you. I'll give you a little update on the uh, on the garden here. So, lots of fruit on the um, peppers. It turns out my... I had an idea to plant the tomatoes really close this year. Bad idea. Don't plant your tomatoes that close. That's not a good idea. But the peppers, man, look at those. Those turned out great. Look at some of these peppers. Let me show you. This is a poblano. Look at that. If I can get it out of the shade here. That's a beautiful pepper. Some of them on the ground. These are bell peppers over here. Look at that. Beautiful bell peppers. And over here, there's some more bell peppers. One down here. Beautiful bell peppers. But yes, obviously, the tomatoes I planted way too close together. I mean, look at this. The T posts, the T posts couldn't even withstand all of the weight that was coming from the fruit of the tomatoes they just bent right over look at that so you know what one part of gardening is it's all about learning you learn from the year before you correct the next year and at some point you have good results so i'm looking forward to the good results here soon but yeah i got tons of weeds i got to take care of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a skid loader in here and I'm gonna tear through all of these weeds because obviously from the last previous couple videos I shared, uh, we have some major drainage issues going on. Uh, just rainwater coming down the property because we're so sloped here from the top of the hill over here, it just comes down and we just have so many different areas of pulling, especially because this hill that I created from doing the pond is just holding the water right there in that area. So I got a lot of work to do with a skid steer still. Let me, ch let me show you these raspberries. These things are gorgeous. Look at this. This is a raspberry bush, believe it or not. It's huge. I mean, there's some weeds mixed in here, but we had a fruit in June and now we got some fruit in September tastes amazing Here's some more so but unfortunately this raspberry bush has got to go because we moved all the other raspberry bushes onto the top of the hill um, I got exciting updates on the chickens I'm gonna share later on in this video but for now Let's get back to work over here. 
cleaning this brush up. When the sun starts to go down, I'll tell you a little bit more about the chickens. The greenhouse obviously is still nothing in it. I couldn't plant this year like I shared in previous videos because the drainage issues are so bad. We have a lot of standing water in the back half of the greenhouse here. So once I remedy that, I'm gonna put some gutters on the greenhouse, shoot the gutter water, or the, the, rain, the runoff from the gutter water into the pond. Um, and we should be good. We should be good to grow in this uh, early next season. So that's the goal. All right, that's all done. Now, let's take the lawnmower. I'm gonna go up this hill, around, and then come back down into all this brush and start trying to cut. Now, this could be a really bad idea. And I'm hoping that it's not. I hope that it's gonna be a good idea. So, I just put some new tires on this lawnmower to have a little bit more tread. But they're not lug tires, they're not ribbed or anything, so, I mean, that's what I got to work with right there. At the very worst, I have to go down, and then somehow, if I get stuck, I can climb back up and come back around. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, that was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I think the lawnmower's still okay. But that ain't good. I think it's still okay. Let's see what I got down here. The blades still look good. Somehow I gotta get it off this edge. This is really bad. I'm hoping I didn't bend the front little wheel here. I mean, Dixie Chopper's got some heavy duty stuff, but it fell right off of there and landed on that wheel right there. Oh, you know what? It looks like the wheel is off the rim. Yeah, that wheel is off the rim. Wait, if that has, well, anyway. I'm gonna go get the truck pull this thing out of here don't do that at home that was dumb okay here's what we're gonna do I have this 80 ton chain here instead of coming off this way because we have a d-ring a tow d-ring right there on the front right there instead of doing that because we're gonna end up really knocking this fork on this wheel 
Pops is going to take the forerunner up the hill here. We're going to go underneath the fence with the 80 ton chain and try to pull it backwards and then come back out this way. So that's the initial plan. That's as much length chain as we got, so I'm gonna go get some strap or something. All right, got the chain hooked up to the frame of the lawnmower. I gotta come along on the back of the Forerunner and we'll slowly try to pull this thing up. Make sure the chain's not gonna hit the post. All right, Pop's gonna try to drive a little bit here. Ho! Oh! I'm afraid it's gonna fall off the edge now. Ho! Oh! All right, so we had to take this wheel off right here. Because as it was going up, the wall here was just scraping along the edge of the culvert wall. So now that we got the wheel off, as Pops pulls the forerunner up the hill, it should start going that way. That's the goal, at least. The family taking a trip around the golf cart. I mean, on the golf cart. Guys, wave. Isaiah, you look happy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pops is gonna attempt to pull this thing now. All right, hey, hey! All right, this is where we netted out. Pops went ahead and started driving back up the hill, so this is where we're at so far. So I'm gonna go back down there, jack the back of the lawnmower up, put the wheel back on, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do, Pops, because that's where I fell right there. I, that's where I fell, literally right there. So if I try to start back right here, I mean, we can pull up the woods somewhere. Right? Hey, if I can get this stunking thing on, ah, got it. Crazy, huh? Got to lower it down anyway. Yeah, no, I'm just giving them a snug. All right, wheels back on. All right, let's try it. All right, this is the new deal we got going on. He's still hooked on the backside, but we got the come along off. Put the come along right here. We're attached to the bottom of the fence post to the front D-ring. So as he reverses, I'll be able to tighten this up and hopefully get it down here to where then I can just fall down the hill. And that, my friends, is why you buy a Dixie Chopper. You can drop them off a cliff, you can run them down to the bottom of a creek, 
and they just keep on kicking. This is not a paid advertisement. This thing is just a beast. Super thick steel everywhere. I mean, of course, let's be real. If it had fallen off the top, off the side over here, and totally fallen, then it would land on the engine, engine would go kaput, no more Dixie Chopper. So that was a pain. That took us about two hours. Thanks to Pops, I got it done. I couldn't have done it without him. Oh, wow. I did not think this day was gonna turn into me rescuing a lawnmower. If you have to say, this might be a dumb idea, let's try it, don't try it. It's a dumb idea, guaranteed. Don't do it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I am pooped, tired. I didn't think this vlog was gonna turn into a emergency rescue the lawnmower situation. So I was gonna share a lot more updates, but one thing that I do plan on doing, um, I've rearranged some of my schedule to be able to do this weekly. Just do weekly vlog updates and let everybody know what's going on around here and what's going on with Goshen. And we've also, me and Holly have been talking and we have committed to do a um, Holly video or a holistic video, whether it's recipes or cooking or healing your body, whatever it is, um, we've agreed to do once a month video. So for all y'all subscribers that are out there that are here for that, and that's cool news. Um, but I do wanna to commit to doing this once a week, which is a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's worth it for me to be able to get my hands dirty and get into this thing, even though I have been working. Really, that's what's been hindering these videos is um, just my time and other, other uh, my hands are in other things and I know this is super important to me and to our future and so um, yeah I'm gonna get back into it anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video remember to stay updated by subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see around the homestead and what you want to see for the future um, if you have any questions just leave them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to answer them Catch you in the next video.